am going to take a video of the river in the condition where it's at now. And it's crazy high. And uh, has a lot of cubic feet per second as it's rolling through um, or pushing through. So I think they're saying it was like 30,000 S feet. SFSs, so cubic feet per second, um, flowing down the river. So let's get out and I'm going to show you. Okay, so you can see there's a barrier here to keep people and whatnot from coming through, but it's uh, it's not as high as it was. It's receded a little bit, but you can see how stretched out it is way down back over here if you follow this trail on around it goes to a huge sandbar this is all normally all beach um during the summer months and uh it's gone usually this down through here is got um like right here here's a trail that goes down to a beach area not so much right now so this river is swollen it's flowing fast um, looks like some debris uh, trees and whatnot from all the saturated properties uh, that house over there looks like it escaped it uh, some of the flooding but yeah that's quite a bit of water So you can imagine this water flowing downstream all the way into Tolt, Carnation, and Duval, making them islands. Oh, look. Hi, puppy. There's a lone puppy over there. Anyways, I wanted to give you guys a view of the Snoqualmie River and how swollen it is. It's definitely expanded and uh, hopefully over the next couple days that the sun is going to be peeking its shiny face through the clouds um, that this water starts receding back and people can start clean up on their homes that and devastation um, in the surrounding cities so all right It's crazy, absolutely crazy that it's this high. All right, signing off, Z Files out.